Kumquat will and Kumquat may. The king of Dwaddle, that copious cretin. Lost in dire subsequent duels. He prays for festivities and other hostilities. Pouting and spouting, so cruel. As the amble Martin, never vexed with a farthing. Roamed nightly in the woods of East Malador. With satiny scarlets and passionately starlit. Until vanquished by the liar's final cord. The king and his rutabaga. Tactile Alpha Domini, sans virulent data. Emits a rattlebone screed. And dampers the hampers. Of volatile scampers and weak kneed campers. Along the banks of Chim Chim Chari. He whispers the dreams of scuttlebutts. Attuned to the turner's ruts and mud huts. And bowery rods of unknown cuffs and tufts. Shambling the languid palfrey. The king's allotment quotes in pails and in boats. From nestling the famished, dithering turnkeys. Of knights in soft batten, bathed in curves of rouge satin. Until withered as the dais pot puri. The prince Tom Tom the tourist. Dabbled with Paris and Horace. Fairest of the fairest, three times around the world. And labored in the garish. And thimbled the nightmarish. And crippled the crumpet's boorish Iscariot. Alas, alack, aloof and audacious. Come quot will and come quot may. This radish of relish of hoarders and bores. This pedigree of similes assumes the troubadour. Who sings of what knots, despots, and vacated slipknots. Of bangles, baubles, bubbles and umbilical cords. There is nothing there and there is nothing more. Thanks for watching.